Solving reducible interest problems using the Repay2 programmer. Uh, now you've just got to make sure you've got version 3 or higher or some of the screens will look quite different when you run this program. Now we're going to head over to the programs. You can see I'm using a quite old operating system here, um, but it should work on any operating system. We go into the program and I'm going to choose the Repay2. The older versions began with a lowercase r. So anyway, here we go. To start the program, we hit the play button uh, at the top there, and we're going to say OK to that information. You can see here it's version 3.5. OK, we're off. Now, let's say we've got a loan of $4,000. So we'll enter $4,000 and tap. Whoops, not, well, we're not quite. We missed a zero. 4,000, OK. The interest rate is, um, well, it looks like it's 15% to start with. So we'll type in 15 and tap OK. Amount of each repayment. So let's say we can afford $180 each month. So $180. OK. And finally, we're going to make 12 repayments per year on account of it being monthly. So we'll put in 12. So when we hit OK now, Classpad does a few calculations and shows you basically that um, it's going to take 27 payments. Um, the last one's slightly different to the regular 180s. It's $35.49. Uh, the total amount of money repaid is here and the total interest $715.49. So that's quite handy. Um, if you wanted to know what the balance was after 12 months, we can use option one row. So here we go. We say option one, please, and OK. And then which payment? So after the 12th payment has been made, which will be so after one year. So we'll say OK to that. And you can see here at the start of um, the 12th month, the balance of the account was 2477.19. The interest payment, the repayment, so at the end of that month, uh, the end of month 12, after the 12th repayment, you can see the balance is down to 2300 just over there. Now, next to the battery, there's a little green icon come on. We tap that to go back and we can then repeat it. We could look for a different row or we could use option two, which is sequence. So if I choose option two, Suppose we had to figure out maybe how long until the balance has fallen below a thousand dollars. So this is a great way to do that. We're going to get well. Well, I'll show you. Here we go. Two sequence, and it basically Classpad has chucked our recursive rule, um, which is shown here, into the sequence application, and we can scroll down here through the sequence application and figure out that after twenty two, after the twenty second payment. The balance has gone this first time it's gone beneath a thousand dollars so um that's a nice little thing and again oh in the red figures here the red column here shows the interest so the interest for that month would have been eleven dollars and 25 cents there okay now we can get back to the main screen again by tapping this little icon and um the one that we haven't had a look at yet is three tables so let's choose that three tab okay now this warns you that it'll be pretty slow, especially on a handheld, and just show rows one to maybe five or something. But let's go the whole hog. We'll have all 27 rows. When we tap OK, Classpad calculates all 21 rows and displays it in the statistics app. So when you go to the statistics app after the program's finished, uh, all these numbers will still be there. And it's a month by month account. You can see month one, here's the opening balance interest of $50, our repayment of 180 and if we tap over to the next column, so at the end of month one, after one repayment, this is the balance, which of course, then 3870 is transferred to the start of the next row, and so the table goes on uh, all the way to the end where we can see the final month, we had 44 cents interest, added it to the initial balance, and the final balance is zero. So again, once we've explored those options, we can tap that uh, back to the main menu. Now, new from the old repay is the option to make changes. So suppose the interest rate changed from 15 down to 6% after the first year. So number four, 
here we go, 4, and this allows us to make changes to the rate, to the payment, to the frequency. You can make a one-off lump sum repayment um, or cancel if you decide this isn't for you. But anyway, we know that we're going to change the rate, so we'll go number 1, and um, it says, right, when do we want to make the change? So we want to make it after the 12th payment, after 12 months. So we'll put in 12. And what is the new interest rate? So it'll be 6% then. So when we tap OK now, what we see is the first 12 months displayed down here. So we started off with a balance of 4,000 at the end of month 12. After the 12th payment, we down to 2,300. And then the interest rate changes. So then when we tap the arrow, we see the new figures for the remainder of the loan. So here, from payments 13 to 26, so we've reduced the payments down by one, it was 27. Um, you can see now the last payment, the number of payments and the total interest is all displayed here. We could go on and make another change. Suppose at the same time um, as the interest rate fell, we felt we could afford to pay more. So we could do an option four, and now we can say we want to change the payment as well. Um, but we'll cancel that. I'll just go five and say, no, we don't want to actually do that. And we just go through the screens again to get back to the menu. So um, that's basically it. If the examiners decide to change um, the variables during the loan, we can cope with it now. Um, the other option, number five, is to sort of go back if you want to delete all the changes you've made. So number five, clear changes. And are you sure you want to clear all the changes? Yes, we are. So you can see we're now back to the original um, loan story that we started off with. Um, there's a couple of others. Six help just goes through what I've explained to you. And nine kind of quits us at the program. So we'll do that. And um, there you go. Good luck using the program.